Hi everyone, so this is a vlog all about my training. I know, very exciting. So this week I have two days of practice. So Monday and Friday, I will be working half eight till half six, my normal hours. And then Tuesday, Wednesday, today's Tuesday, um, I'm gonna be doing baby immunizations training. And this is part of the uh, fun foundations of primary care course or fundamentals of primary care course it's called different things in different places but anyway yes so all of our baby immunizations is now online so we have to do online learning which i'm really annoyed about because i could have done this nine months ago when i first started this is something i could have got on with and done and i could be well away doing baby ims by now but because of covid and the course was pushed back then we're just starting now, but I'm literally logging on to my e-learning for healthcare, which I always use to do the baby IMS training. Could have done this at the start. So I'm a little bit miffed about that, but do you know what? At least I'm getting on with it. I'm going to do it. So I thought I would take you through it and show you how I learn and revise and make my notes whilst I'm training online. And hopefully I'm going to stay as motivated as possible. <laughs> So this screen here is my e-learning for healthcare package and this is the e-learning that I'm going to be doing today and tomorrow. So this is all about immunisations and vaccines, which is handy because there's a new COVID vaccine coming out. So I am literally just going to start at the top national immunisation policy and programmes and then I'm going to work my way down this list every session you click on so if I click on the top one it's got different parts to it if I go back and then click on the next one it's got those parts if I go to that one oh god I've got a lot of work to do over the next two days um oh god are these gonna have everything inside it huh there's nothing in that one that's a bonus oh no there was it's come up <laughs> There's only one in that one, thank God. Okay, next one. There's only one in that one. HPV. Oh, amazing. Okay, so I have got a lot of work to do, but hopefully it's going to be okay. I'm going to get through all of this, hopefully, and get my certificates at the end. And yeah, and then I'll be able to book in some clinics with the other nurses and do the baby vaccines, which I'm not looking forward to, I'm not going to lie. I do not want to be injecting babies and have them cry at me. That's not fun to me. Um, but yeah, it is what it is and it's to protect the health of the future children and all that jazz. So yeah, here we go. Oh, so this is a really interesting statistic that's on my first bit of e-learning. This is from Public Health England and showing how vaccines actually work, showing you the evidence. So before vaccines, the on the left hand side of this screen, this is before vaccines were introduced. So um, there are all the different types of um, diseases or illnesses, whatever. Um, and that's how many people were infected by it. Um, but now, because there's a vaccine, this is the right hand side is after the vaccine's been given. So the difference between the 1940s, 1950s, 1960s, 1990s, up to today and now. And look at those numbers. One case. Then just look at those numbers. It's amazing how reduced those numbers are. That's massive reduction. So it just shows you that actually vaccines are needed. And this is why we vaccinate. So at the end of every section that I'm showing you, um, we get an assessment and you have to get 80% or more to pass the assessment. So right now I'm doing the immunology assessment and I'm on question two. And there's an option for all of the above. So I'm going with that one because if there's an option, then I'm going to tick it. Let's face it. Fingers crossed. Pass this. Ready to submit. <gasps> This is what happens when you don't read a question right. Whoops. Second attempt, guys. I haven't got high hopes for this one, I'm not going to lie. Oh. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. Third time lucky, guys. Do, 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 do. So I have finished my mandatory stuff on my immunizations and that is all the boring stuff. So to be fair, I didn't make notes because it was all about kind of stuff that I already know, like consent, the legal stuff, fridge temperatures. So I didn't make notes. So I didn't show you that part. But however, I've now moved on to 
disease specific. So the first one we are going to go to is this. What I'm going to do now is just go through each one for the information. And then as I do that, I'm going to make some notes. So my first note, I'm going to put the title. Diphtheria, which I cannot pronounce, so I'm not going to say it out loud too much. <laughs> but I've wrote it down on my notes, so it's got to be done. Title, done. Let's add some colour to the title, just to make it look pretty. Done. <laughs> Next, okay. So, organism. So, this is usually caused by bacterium. Oh, what are these words? Bacterium, coronae, bacterium, diphtheria, and less commonly. I don't understand how to say these words, guys. Anyway, some some strains, toxigenic strains of the bacteria produce a toxin. It's only these strains that cause disease. Lovely. History, we do want to know. So I'm going to put a little title because we need the stats to tell people and um, to tell the parents. So I'm going to put history in a nice colour. Dun, dun, dun. I know, it's going to be colour coded. History. Um, okay, so disease of children. Well, that's why we're vaccinating children. Then um, came rare in the UK following introduction of mass immunisation in 1942. Ooh. So IMS started in 1942. And then in 1941, there was approximately... 50,000 notifications in England with 2,600 deaths. This amounted to approximately one notification every 10 minutes and one death every three to four hours. Ouch. So this is my final notes for the e-learning that I did. And that is it. I'm going to move on to the next one now. This is day two of e-learning. I'm bored. I'm at home. I'm in pretty much the same clothes as I had on yesterday. What is life? <laughs> Some extra ones I've done is Hep B, HPV, and now I'm going on to Influenza, which I've already done the flu one, but this is more targeted at the baby ones, which I do not know. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm so bored. I'm nearly finished. I'm just coming to the end now. So I thought I would stop this videoing here. Um, I've got all of my notes. And I'm going to make some little flashcards from them all, I think, about baby IMS and vaccinations. Probably not today, though. But, yeah, I'm going to sort something out. <laughs> but I've done my mandatory training, so that is me. Hopefully going to be signed off for baby IMS and start to be able to do them. But basically, yeah, just like I've shown you, I literally go through bit by bit and I document all of the important stuff in my notes. And I use colours and subheadings little stars, little bullet points, just to make my notes. That's how I do it. Um, sometimes if I was doing like anatomy and physiology, I might draw a little diagram or something at the side and then label it and then put some arrows and make notes at the side of it, that sort of thing. That's how I normally sort of do my note taking for A and P. Um, but yeah, I hope that's been useful. I feel like this has been really boring, if I'm not gonna lie. So I'm really sorry if that's really bored you to death. But I hope it helps a bit. I don't know. But now I'm going to have a cup of tea. Oh, excuse this, guys. <laughs> Literally, I'm learning from home. We all have got our pyjamas on. We've all not done our hair. Don't worry about it. <laughs> but I'm going to go and have a cup of tea now and just chill out for a bit because this is draining my soul. I've no idea how all the student nurses are doing this. How are you all doing this from home? The motivation to do it is just, it's not there, I'm not going to lie, but it has to be done, so I'm doing it. Um, but yes, I hope that you're all staying motivated, and I'm sorry if you're not, and I'm sorry if you're feeling really deflated right now with everything being online, but do you know what? You've got this. You can absolutely do it, so go have a cup of tea, have a coffee, have a drink, treat yourself to something nice, keep yourself motivated, and yeah. I shall see you all next time.